Good morning everybody. Today we are upgrading the mirrors on my 2001 Toyota Corolla. So the mirrors that I have on here now, they're still in pretty good shape. However, if you want to adjust them, you got to reach outside and do that. With the mirror on the passenger side, I already changed it out. And the nice thing about this one is you can adjust the mirror from the inside of the car. So, probably the easiest job ever, all you need is a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a ratchet with an extension. And this should work if you have the Chevy Prism as well. So, we'll go ahead and start by taking a flathead screwdriver and just popping off this cover. Just snaps off like that. Then, there are three bolts holding the mirror on. Just loosen them up, and then they should come off by hand. Then the mirror should just pop right out. And here we go. Then we'll go ahead and grab our new mirror, take a screwdriver, a Phillips head, and remove this screw that's holding in the handle. And there we go. Make sure you grab this screw and put it somewhere safe. Then the handle pops right off like that. And now we are ready to install the mirror. It basically just slides in like that. Then you're ready to put your bolts back in. Then grab your ratchet, tighten them up. And then with these bolts, make sure they're on tight, but you don't necessarily have to overdo it either. Just make sure they're snug. And there we go. Then You'll go ahead and put this cover on. There we go. Then the handle goes on. Take a Phillips head screwdriver, screw it in. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And then just adjust your mirror so that when you drive, 
you can see what's going on behind you. And pretty simple job. Found the mirrors in the junkyard for about $20 each. And then your other mirrors, just put them somewhere safe. And don't forget, new videos every Sunday. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Also, make sure you hit that bell so you never miss a video. And I will see you guys next week. If I ever get tired of South Lake Tahoe, that is.